Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good Tuesday morning, friends. We're coming up on 654. And that cold front we've been talking about, that was going to really bring some drastic changes to Denver and the state of Colorado. It is really, really starting to shake things up in Colorado. We actually have a live view from Colorado this morning. Check it out. Yesterday, Denver hit a high of 93 degrees. Now they are seeing some snow. It's going to be a more of a wet snow as the morning progresses. And closer to Denver, they're just seeing some cold rain right now but again as you see it's starting to really shake up uh, for the our friends in Colorado this morning and again that is all associated with that cold front that we were hoping would make it this far south it's not going to unfortunately they're sitting right at 36 degrees this morning again yesterday 93 degrees so that is quite the temperature swing quite the cold front and again it is not going to make its way this far south but we're still comfortable this morning thanks to that front from uh, over the weekend. 70 degrees and you see another beautiful sunrise. We have mainly clear skies out there and we'll see mainly clear skies today but a few more clouds later on. Temperatures in the upper 60s, lower 70s this morning but we're going to warm up back into the lower 90s which is near seasonal this time of year. Right around 92 for Baton Rouge Plaquemine checking in around 92 degrees this afternoon and then closer to New Roads 92 PR part around 91. So our comfort guide for today, dew point temperatures will still be in the 60s and lower 70s, but it's going to start to gradually go up. It's not going to be as dry as yesterday, and especially not Wednesday and into Thursday. So our feels like temperature will start to go up, and our afternoon temperatures are going to be higher as well. Satellite and radar showing things are quiet this morning. Things will likely be quiet for a good portion of the area, although a few coastal showers are going to be possible, mainly staying to the south and east of Baton Rouge. As for our Wednesday, slightly higher rain chances. Could see some widely scattered showers and storms, but again, the best chance for rain does appear to be mainly south of the Baton Rouge area, south and southwest of Baton Rouge. Most of the area going to stay dry into Thursday. So today increases just a little bit to 20, and then Wednesday 30%, and then by the weekend, we're going to look at that front that is bringing some snow to areas in Colorado and Denver. They are, uh, that cold front is going to just stall out or wash out just to our west and to uh, our northwest. So that's going to increase our rain chances into the weekend. Not going to see any changes from the fronts, unfortunately, thanks to it staying to our west and to our northwest. The tropics, very, very active. We have Paulette and Renee, and now a high chance for formation for the wave that's going to move off the coast of Africa in the coming days. And then the chance for this area of low pressure to develop into something, that has a 40% chance. As for Renee and Paulette, as of right now, they look to stay out to sea, but we will have to watch Paulette down the road to see if it does make its way more to the west, but there's plenty of time to watch. It's in the open Atlantic right now. Over the next seven days, again, low and mid-90s for the next few days. A little cooler this weekend because of the high rain chances. Currently around 50%. Let's get a final check on the ways this morning. And